Hey guys, special little tactic feature here, it's called the falling line, so I'm going to take you through how to do it, it works especially well when you're outnumbered and you have the high ground. So I'm ju just going to take you through my units, uh, I have a 3 pounder crew right here, I have 2 crews of line infantry, 4 uh, divisions of Jaeger light infantry, and on my right I have a 3 pounder crew and my general who's on horse. So right here's the French army, outnumbering me by a 3 to 2 factor, they have around 900, I have 600 and uh, they have 8 squads of line infantry, 2 crews of cavalry, so I'm going to do the tactic, set up my artillery right there under that ridge, my other 3 pounder right there on top uh, of the ridge, to get them in a crossfire of canister shot. So the falling line, what it is, is basically I set up my first line there, my second line here, and my line infantry right there where I want to hold them off. So what you do is basically set up your infantry on your front, let them take a volley, and then retreat them. Usually you set up your light infantry because they are far ranged, so you're going to see what I'm going to do right here. I uh, set up a nice thin line, let most units there take a volley. They don't all have to take a volley because if the enemy is getting too close too fast, you might want to retreat them pretty quickly. But you're going to see how this all works. I'm going to set up my first line as uh, far as I can front, my second line of light infantry right behind them, and uh, my line infantry, uh, which is going to be the third line, which is going to be where, I get, uh, where I'm going to hold them off. Now, um, my artillery, I'm going to set right there on the high ground. Um, and I'm going to keep my infantry relatively close to them, so I want to lure them in. Now that's the thing on the falling line, you want to lure your enemies in. Um, so right here you're going to see I'm just going to set up my first line. My second line is coming right behind them. And now as soon as these guys take their first volley, I'm going to retreat them, you're going to see. And this is why it's called the falling line, because you have your line and it falls back after each volley. So here the enemy was advancing pretty fast, so I just said, okay, let me just retreat my guys uh, as fast as I can. You're going to see it right here. So if my artillery to take canister shot. So you see, retreat my guys behind my second line of, uh, of light infantry. Now let these guys take their volley. So you can see, uh, the reason you want to do this is because um, you're taking shots on the enemy who's not taking shots on you. You get some free uh, picks and works very well. So you can see my line infantry, I set them up right there, that's why I'm going to hold them off. Now, my first squad line infantry is going to stay back there on the high ground, take their own volleys. I'm just going to send my cavalry out to these guys who are charging me. And, uh, yeah, the, the second crew of infantry that I had is going to take the flank, set up a nice flank position right there. So you can see my um, RDs in cancer shot now. They're in pretty good cancer shot range. I have uh, one RD on, uh, on my right on, and on my left under the ridge. Now you can see line infantry takes their volleys. The uh, light infantry behind them, which was originally my first light infantry crew, takes uh, their volleys. And you're going to see now my other light infantry squad. I'm going to set up one on the flank right there on the right, and my other one on the ridge right here. So get them in a nice horseshoe, and you maximize your firepower. Every unit that you have can shoot. Works especially well when you're outnumbered because um, uh, you can make use of all your units instead of just a traditional you have your front line of infantry who shoots with one volley at a time. So even if they're on the high ground, you can see there's not really that much friendly fire here, uh, there's a bit of it, but that's what you have to be careful in the falling line, it's a friendly fire, you uh, you can't really afford to do that, especially when you're outnumbered. And cancer shot, they are in very uh, close cancer shot range, which is awesome, especially in the earlier stages. They are 3 pounders, so they're not heavy artillery, but uh, they're pretty useful, like, anyways. So right there you can see the French can't make use of all their infantry, while I am, so I'm basically outgunning them when they have more guns. I'd like to thank uh, Massacreseum, one of my YouTube guys, for uh, pointing this out to me. I really appreciate it. He sent me the page. I'm going to post a link up, probably in the author's comments, uh, if you guys want to check it out. Uh, they illustrated very well like what to do, how, do you, how to position your artillery in a nice cancer shot range. And uh, yeah, they illustrated, they, they talk about it. If you guys want to read more about the, the falling line tactic, just check out the link. I'm going to put it uh, under my comments. And yeah, you can see how well it works. What I do right here is actually a little modified. So now their left uh, side is starting to route, and once they do that, you're just going to swing uh, your reserves into their uh, right flank, and you're just going to finish them off nice and quick. Now their cavalry was coming to uh, from somewhere, their extra cavalry squad. Yeah, they're coming right there on the flank. But they shouldn't be that much of a problem because they took care of uh, more than half of their infantry already. So Jaegers, use your light infantry, they're very far range, you can take a shoot from anywhere you want them to.
Now again, my lines are taking a beating, but when you're at number 3 or 2, you, you have to expect to lose some kind of casualties. And this is the best way to make use of all your uh, your fisheries guns. Just spread them out in a nice line, let all of them shoot. And uh, yeah, you can see right here, I'm going to swing my guys uh, on their right. Take a nice line of fire on the crossfire, and they're starting to waver too, the French infantry there. Here comes the uh, Cuyassier. Now I'm just going to send some uh, reserve infantry and my general in there to finish them off. Because uh, these guys pretty much took care of my infantry already. Until my artillery there issue round shot now. You can see even at this point all my infantry is still shooting. So these guys are going to start to rub pretty soon because uh, they are uh, getting flanked and uh, they are in a crossfire and that, that's usually a huge hit on morale. And they're starting to waver. And you, got, you can use this tactic on a larger scale too if you want. If you want to uh, use 4 or 5 uh, squads of 120 line infantry, you could do that. Just And it's all about luring the enemy into your canister shot range. It uh, works especially well when you have the high ground. I haven't tried it yet on the non-high ground, but it should work uh, the same way. So here you can see the numbers guys, uh, 909 to 600. I was a number the by 3 to 2 ratio. And I only lost 200 men uh, through this whole luring falling line tactics. So I hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Remember to subscribe, send me suggestions, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys really learned something. It's an awesome tactic. I used it twice, and it, it's worked both times. I'm going to keep on using it. So thank you, Massacre Museum. See you guys next time.